protesters shouting not legit part of their disapproval of Mayor Brandon Johnson announcing his picks for six new Board of Education members. They'll replace seven members who re we learned last week are stepping down. Our Sabrina Franza is live for us outside of Chicago Public Schools headquarters. And Sabrina, that was quite a news conference with the mayor. Jim Marie, it was at times contentious, an hour long question and answer session between the mayor and reporters. The mayor announced six of those seven appointees, and he emphasized that it is within his power to make these appointees, to put these people in these positions, while also saying that he was doing this justifiably, regardless of those who have criticized him, saying this is an abuse of his power. The board's job, like in many, all board members, no matter what kind of board you sit on, is to evaluate the executive. That's their job, their duty. They will do that. Mayor Brandon Johnson announced six new candidates for Chicago school board. He wouldn't let the press ask those new appointees if they would vote to oust Chicago Public School CEO Pedro Martinez. Amid reports, the mayor asked him to resign days before the current seven members resigned in mass on Friday. You can ask that once they are appointed. The move in the middle of teacher contract negotiations, where the Johnson administration has to figure out how it might pay for raises and pensions for teachers. Sources say the administration has floated taking a $300 million high interest loan. The current CPS CEO opposes that idea. We have not seen the plan or dedication from the corporate leaders at CPS, but this board intends to make sure our schools have the tools they need to graduate and educate prepared citizens of Chicago. Some of the potential new members spoke following their appointments. They are Reverend Mitchell Johnson, environmental activist Olga Batista, Michelle Blaze, chief of staff to a Cook County commissioner, community organizer Mary Gardner, Frank Niles Thomas, and Deborah Pope, a paid and now retired CTU organizer. We asked Mayor Johnson how the six were chosen. He denied that any of them were picked because of where they stand on that $300 million loan or on Pedro Martinez. Are you saying that there's nothing that's currently happening, whether it be teacher negotiations or this ongoing back and forth with Pedro Martinez that influenced the decisions? This is solely made based on a transition plan that was released before you became mayor of the city. Yes, my vision. Do you believe me? All of this happening while Chicago stands to elect at least partially a new school board in just a few weeks time. Those people would take their positions in January alongside 10 plus one of Mayor Johnson appointees. That is 10 board members and a president making up a totally new school board in January of 21 new members of which the mayor tells us maybe some of whom were also appointed today. We're live in the loop outside CPS headquarters. Sabrina Franza, CBS News, Chicago.